Hey, 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 folks. It's Sunday afternoon, almost evening here in San Francisco, and I'm running out of light because I'm completely forgotten that we're now in winter time. But I want to quickly unbox this. The Fab 2 Pro from Lenovo, the first phone on the market with Google's Tango technology. So are you ready? This is a big deal and I mean that literally this phone is massive so check it out this is the box and you can see there's a cool little windows so you can see through and actually see the phone and its box this is what it looks like from the side and then in the back there's a bunch of IMA numbers here and stuff this is a dual sims phone let's see it says fab and then uh, yeah not much on this end uh, the Lenovo logo here fab logo yeah that's it so let's open her up and go from there. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. That is a big freaking phone, guys. Massive phone. In fact, you probably don't realize how big this phone is in the video, but I'll show you in a second. Let's see what else is in the box before we get to the actual phone. So there's a charger here, I think, it looks like. Uh, we've got, oh, this looks almost exactly like the charger for the um, yoga book I'm reviewing. Uh, if it doesn't want to come out. It's a 12 volt, 9 volt, 5 volt, 2 amp charger uh, with a regular USB connector on one end, type A, and as you can see here, standard US prongs. And it comes with, you know, micro USB. So this is a micro USB cable that's in there somewhere. We'll find it at some point. Then we've got I think it's in here. Cables. No, that's just manuals, I guess. There's a SIM removal tool. And then if we go in here, a bunch of manuals and things. Now, this phone is sold in the US through Lenovo, unlocked for $4.99. And uh, it's uh, pretty interesting because it's, you know, not only is it the first Tango phone on the market, it's got some pretty interesting specs. Let's see what else we got. So there is that cable, as you can see. Uh, micro USB, right? And Type A at one end, obviously. And then comes with some earbuds as well, for good measure. Don't know if these are any good, but you can see the connector here. Maybe the earbuds here. So let's put all this stuff aside and actually let's have a look at this phone because it is really big. And if you're wondering how big this really is, let me pull out my Pixel XL so you can see how big this phone is. So this is my Pixel XL. It's a 5.5 inch phone. It's almost as big as the iPhone 7 Plus. And here is the Fab 2 Pro, which I believe has a 6 inch display. Um, and it has a Quad HD IPS panel under here. And then uh, it's not the thinnest phone. It's actually about almost a centimeter thick at the thickest, about nine millimeters and a bit. But it does taper off nicely to the edges, so it doesn't quite feel as big as you can see it tapering here. Uh, and then what's really most exciting and interesting about this is all these sensors in the back for T Project Tango. You got, of course, a fingerprint scanner. This is a wide angle camera that lets the uh, Tango know where it is inside your space. Um, then there's an infrared uh, emitter and camera receiver, very similar to Connect behind here, an LED flash as well. Um, that's actually used for measuring, like depth perception and measuring distances and being able to map out your world in terms of dimensions. And then you have a 16 megapixel autofocus phase, autofocus camera back here. Um, in this camera pond. That's your regular camera for taking photos. Although this wide angle thing looks pretty amazing and massive. Look at that. Look at my thumb next to it. It's huge. It is not the main camera. So uh, let me kind of peel off these stickers. You know, I love oh, the sound of peeling off stickers. And here you can kind of see better. Let me turn it on. You can kind of see a little better this massive display. There we go. Lenovo Android. You got a front facing camera here. The earpiece, I don't know if you can see it right there, earpiece. Probably a proximity sensor in here somewhere. And then you can see 
and very faintly edged to your back. Ooh, an over sound. Qualcomm Snapdragon, yes, they are the big partner for the Tango chipset. As you can see here, you've got, let me just turn the screen off. You got that um, back button um, and then home button and recent apps. And there you can kind of faintly see it. Yeah, I'm not sure you can. It was fine when, the, there you go. It was fine when the display was off, but now the display is on, it's kind of killer. Let me remove this back panel as well, if I can catch it somehow. There's a lot of printed stuff here, so let's see. Are you ready for the sound? Oh yeah, that sound. I don't know if you could hear it, hear it there. I'm gonna have to remove this sticker too, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Lenovo logo, Tango logo. I went through all these sensors already. So let's walk you through the edges of the phone. You got a headphone jack here on the top, nothing else. On the right hand side, volume rocker, power lock key. Uh, it's nicely textured. This is all metal unibody with antenna bands, as you can see. And then here you have, uh, I guess, maybe one or two speakers, not sure if this is stereo, and the micro USB charge and data port. And then on the left hand side, is a SIM tray that I believe takes two nano SIMs or one nano SIM and micro SD. So you can have kind of either extra storage or um, two SIMs, depending on what you want to do. And again, this is a big freaking phone. Uh, here's the display, six inches. And again, as a point of reference, this is what a Pixel looks like next to a Pixel XL, not a basic Pixel. So it's a pretty freaking huge phone. It fits in my pocket, I tried it. But really, this reminds me of the uh, Lumia 1520 or 1320, the really massive phones, really too big. And it's heavy, holy crap. So anyway, I've turned it on. I've shown you quickly around the lay of the land. I'm gonna review this for ChipCheck. So keep an eye on uh, ChipCheck.com for this coming out in the next uh, couple of weeks or so. Uh, you know, I do some phone reviews there. I reviewed the Pixel there and I reviewed the V20 and I should say the Pixel XL. Yeah, very. this is very nicely made, but man, it's big and heavy. I mean, I have big hands. I don't know if you realize how big and heavy this thing is. It's kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to try out Tango and see what it brings to the equation in terms of augmented or mixed reality. Um, again, this is a big phone because it has a lot of this Tango technology. There's a Snapdragon, I think it's 645. Yeah, you know, live video. So you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, that's optimized for Tango, four gigs of RAM. I believe it's 64 gigs of built-in storage. It's a pretty high end. I mean, for 499, if you're looking for a big screen phone that works in the US, if you can muster the weight and size of this thing, it is definitely uh, a, worth checking out at price point, I think, uh, especially if you're curious to explore this Project Tango sensor madness back here. So there you have it. The a uh, Fab 2 Pro, that's quite the handful of a name, personally not a biggest fan of that name, but um, it's Fat, P-H-A-T, and it's Fab, P-H-A-B, right? Uh, so there you go, uh, stay tuned for more on uh, this phone as soon as I get a chance to, uh, you know, review it and get a feel for what Project Tango brings to the table. And uh, I'll try to make another video at some point later on in the meantime, check out all my other videos, subscribe down here, like the video, all that good stuff, and uh, you know, stay tuned for more. I, I'll talk to you later. The light is dying, so I'd better stop this video soon. All right, take care, guys. Uh, again, subscribe, like, watch my other videos, and stay tuned for more. The Fab 2 Pro from Lenovo. Cheers.